<laughs> <laughs> great, All right. right. Okay. Okay. Let's mix them. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm so excited because my beautiful cousin Jessie is here. Hello. I have just convinced her to start a YouTube channel, and it is all about all things natural and oils, the oils that I've been talking about a ton on the Mom's You, on my channel, doTERRA. She is explaining all of those oils over on her channel, and today she is giving me a diaper bag makeover. So we're going to take this product, baby powder, and this product, baby wipes, and we are going to make them natural and clean and organic and good for our baby, and we are going to make this baby powder. and these baby wipes. I'm so excited for you to show all of us how to make these because it's really, really easy and they're fun to make and they smell so good. Are you I'm ready? I'm excited. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with the natural baby powder and what we're going to need are some little containers and these have the top like that so that the baby powder can come right out of there. You can sprinkle that right on. Where did you get these? Amazon. It's from they're Amazon. just glass spice jars. Perfect. And then we're going to need two oils. We need the Roman chamomile. And we also need lavender. And both these oils are really good to, for irritated skin and to help skin repair. Roman chamomile will repair skin very well. And the lavender will soothe and calm any irritation and prevent irritation from coming. Cool. Well, let's add that in then. Okay, and then what do we need here? And then this is um, this is finely ground oats. We just put a fourth of a cup in a blender and blend it up really fine so it's a fine powder. And then there's a half a cup of arrowroot powder. We, you can get the whole food store, any natural food store. And then there's a half a cup of cornstarch. Okay, so we're going to mix that all together. So you're going to need a mixing bowl and a whisk to mix that. And we're also using a funnel to pour the powder into our cute little glass jars. Okay, Okay. so corn just in starch. any order. Yep, any and order. we have a half cup of cornstarch, a half cup of the arrowroot powder, and a fourth cup of the finely ground oatmeal, or oats. Not oatmeal, just oats. Okay, and I'm just going to whisk that together. Mix that up good. Okay, and then we're going to add the oils and how many? Two drops of each. And sometimes you get more than you want, but it's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything to have three or four drops. Okay. But you really just need two. Sometimes that just comes out fast. All right. That's all right, we'll just go with it. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that all together one more time. That smells good. Mm -hmm. I thought that they banned baby powder. They didn't ban it, but they recommended not to use it because a lot of moms were using it too much and they were using too much at a time and then the fumes were in the air and they said that the babies the were babies. inhaling the powder. So just to be on the safe side, yes. this is much better. Yes. And you know, you just need very minimal, just enough to cover the baby's bottom. All right, and that is ready to put into our jars. I'll hold that, you can scoop it in. Mmm, this smells so good. This is the cutest idea for a gift. All right, perfect. So cute. Okay, then we'll just add the top back on. All right, and there is your baby powder, and you could also add a label to that, right? Yes. So I think that that would be the cutest gift to give, like a little diaper bag full of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we making next? Natural baby wipes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to need for the natural baby wipes is a paper towel roll, and I have cut that in half so it fits into a smaller container better. You're going to need two cups of warm water, and then I'm using our whisk once more to mix everything together. And then we're gonna use three drops melaleuca oil, three drops lavender oil, 
two tablespoons of coconut oil. You want fractionated coconut oil. That means it stays liquid. It doesn't, it doesn't solidify like other coconut oils. Other coconut oils that are solidified will, will melt in your hand, but they'll also um, solidify when they're in the, in the wipes and so it'll make it cakey and then hard to use, pretty much impossible to use. So the fractionated coconut oil will stay liquid and it will be better to use. And you're also going to need an airtight container to put the wipes in. Yes, and keep in. All right, you ready? I'll mm -hmm. pour this water in there. And then three drops Melaleuca. Melaleuca is wonderful for infection, any kind of virus, any mold, any skin irritation. It's great for tissue rebuilding also. And then three drops of lavender. And this is also good for soothing skin any irritation, any burns, so any diaper rash, it'll heal um, very quickly. And then also two tablespoons of your coconut oil. The coconut oil is great to create a bigger surface area, so you get more use out of your oils. And the good thing about these oils is there's so many different uses for them. Mm -hmm. It's such a good investment. They're not all just for one, and they only use, use drops at a time. You don't use a whole bottle at a time. They last months and months and months, unless there's one specific thing you're using it for every single day. But they usually you usually don't have to buy a bottle of each of the oils all the time. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna whisk that together. And then what do we do with these paper towels? And then once all this, this mixture is mixed all the way, it smells really good. We're just gonna add these paper towels in and we're gonna soak them all up and then we will remove the cards, the cardboard in, in, in the middle and so that we're able to use them and pull from the center. Okay. So we'll add this and we'll soak it all in. Just make sure that all parts of the paper towel are being added in. I'm gonna go this way so it doesn't unravel. Make sure it's all soaked in, both sides. Yep. And that, that just this short piece of, of paper towel absorbed the entire mixture. There's no mixture left in the bottom. Now we're just gonna remove this part. That's easy. Easy peasy, maybe. <laughs> that's easy. There we go. Not. <laughs> but it's, it's good. It is that. And that's what we want. Okay, and then we're just gonna smash that down a little bit. Yes. So yeah, smash that, that down. And just like your like Lysol wipes or whatever you use with those containers, we'll you can just pull, pull right from up. the center and rip one off and you can use that as your baby wipes. That's awesome, I love that. And you can keep it in this container. You can keep it in the airtight container or you can put it in a Ziploc baggie so you can kind of squish them in so you have more room in your diaper bag depending on how much room you have. Or this will be good on a changing table because you can use, you have a little bit more area on there. You can keep it in the airtight container. Well, that was super easy. And I'm sure maybe hey, Kaylee could make something with Mod Podge and some <laughs> cute craft paper. <laughs> are, you, are you making fun of me? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is fun to make. Jessie has a channel on YouTube that she's just started, so be sure to check that out. It is Oils with Miss Jess. She also has a blog that she's doing with her sister-in-laws. Yes, which is called The Wife Life Blog. Yes, and I love it so much. It's so much fun to see all of your different personalities coming together on that blog. I yeah. love it. It's a bit of taste of everything. Yes, I love that. So be sure to check that out. And if you want to see any more baby products, Jessie will be making diaper rash cream mm -hmm. over on her channel. Same type of video. She's using the oils. Everything's going to be really natural. She also goes into more detail about each of these oils and tells neat things that each of them do. Mm -hmm. I love it. So be sure to check that out and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.